Hey, this is Chris from Pixelwix, and we're just showing you a new add-on for Pixelwix products called Auto Blend. This little product is a separate product from our company, but it basically allows all of the um, uh, blending and calibration files to be exported and then imported into our Pixel World product. So if I show you that we've got three projectors here, and on our monitor we're running the uh, Auto Blend product, and I can just uh, select the camera position, which is there. Um, and then we can mask off all the pieces that we don't want, which is, you know, obviously the pieces outside of the screen area. And there's just a little tool here to adjust the mask area, which I'll put that back to a nice little mask around the screen. Uh, then we check out to see whether these little blobs that we've got on the screen are high enough resolution for us. I'm just going to default um, 30 blobs. Uh, I think it's 30 by 16, it says on the screen here. And I can adjust uh, black and white threshold and the circle size to get different resolution. I'm going with the factory default here. So then I can check these to say, uh, let's just check to see whether we're actually seeing these. The little camera's uh, over behind me. And uh, I'll just let it see what it sees. And, and it'll give us um, an indication on here of green saying good to go. So now I can do this for all three projectors. And then do a final uh, scan to uh, scan the projectors for colors and stuff you know, geometric correction, all that kind of thing. So this scan normally takes about, um, well the total from start to finish is about three minutes. Uh, the longest wait time is when it's doing its final calculation. Um, we'll see how quick that is at the moment. Now incidentally, the, if you really need to, once you've gone through the basic scan, if you need a higher resolution on your uh, points to be adjusted automatically, that's when you would go back and adjust uh, the, the size of these points. So you get more points, more or a high resolution, and we're using a standard uh, Logitech uh, webcam here uh, to do this. So nothing except you know expensive, just a standard everyday camera. And I'm doing it in a kind of a daylight ex example to show you that it can be done even in light conditions. So uh, the skylights in this building are actually uh, spilling quite a lot of light in, and uh, you know that's just one of the obstacles uh, with doing projector mapping when you're doing it. It's just, the, is the light correct? But in my case, uh, I'm just doing it the worst case scenario to see what happens. Now once we've got this uh, processing um, uh, done, and the calculation's been done for the correction of the blend and the warp, it puts a, a, a image up for us, and then it maps it to the screen. You see it's not mapped to the screen now, so we, uh, there we go, mapped to the screen. So there's our image. Let's take a little look at that. And looks nice, hey? So here we are, blended, nice neatly blended. The bright parts are all gone. It's correctly warped to the shape of my curved screen and I don't have to do anything. So all I have to do now is export this uh, file and uh, Pixel Warp has been rewritten to read this file. And so now you can, all the Pixel Warp products can actually uh, get this uh, great little uh, auto blending by camera. So again, this is Chris from Pixelwix. Hope you've enjoyed this one and uh, we'll catch you on the next.